What's up guys, I'm Zane and today I'm going to show you how to use Samsung Wallet in 2024. Now when you first open the application on your phone, you will have to click on continue. Then after that, it will ask you to send the notifications, click on allow. And after that, you will have to sign in using your Samsung account. And this step, you will need it only when you first open the application. After that, it will ask you to use your fingerprint or you can simply click on this option right here, skip and use Samsung Wallet PIN. After you use your fingerprint, it will ask you also to enter a PIN for your Samsung Wallet. After entering the PIN, it will jump you to this page right here. And by this page, you can click on add and add any code that you want. Or you can simply click on all down below in the lower right corner. Then it will show you this page when you click on all. You can click on these three dots on the top right corner. And you can simply click on this plus icon, then click on add in order to add your payment card. Now it will show you three methods that you can actually use them in order to enter your card. You can simply take a picture of your payment card and it will automatically enter your information. Or you can enter the card information manually or you can scan it with the back of your phone. And after that, you should click on next. Then it will show you this page right here, Terms of Service. Just click on Agree. Then now it will show you the verification method of your card. According to your bank and according to the type of card that you have, it will show you multiple options. Here in my case, it shows me only one option, the SMS. And this number right here will be the same number that you attach to your payment card. So once you click on SMS, it will send you a verification code to your phone then you should enter the code just right here then click on submit and now it will show you that your card is added successfully and now you can click on done or click on add another card and here as you can see in the middle of the screen you have this option set as default transport card you have this option checked this means that this is the default card right now now i'm going to add another card there as you can see it has more options to verify it you have the email and the sms and after adding the cards you can simply scroll right and left in order to switch between cards and when you tap on any card it will show you more information about the card you can find the card number which is the actual card number that you have in your pocket while the digital card number is a virtual number that was created by samsung wallet itself in order to get your data secured now, how you can actually use Samsung Wallet to pay? You can simply look at the terminal and you will find here the amount of money that you will have to pay. And what you should do right now is to simply open the Samsung Wallet application on your phone and make sure that you have signed in using your email. Then after that, you have to get your phone in front of the terminal and just leave it in order to scan the payment. Then after that, it will show you that your payment is approved. Now, there's also another feature that you have to know that the app itself can track your transactions. So here in my case, I have chosen one of my cards, then scroll down till I get this recent transactions. And when you click on it, it will give you more information about the transaction. And now in order to set your card as default payment method, you can simply choose between the cards. And after that, you should click on these three dots right here on the top right corner. And by this way, you can simply set it as your default payment card. Now, if you want to delete a card, you will also click on these three dots on the top right corner. Then you will have here this option, delete card. You can simply click on it, then it will delete your card. There is also another important feature that you can actually get the quick access to the app by swiping down from this area right here on your phone and get into the application very quickly. And if you want to disable these options, you can simply go to the settings. Then you should head to quick access option right here. Then go to swipe up gesture. And now we have to get all these options off. But you need to know that when you use the swipe up gesture, you will have to enter the PIN in order to get into the application. You can also add other payment options or other things that you can use 
with Samsung Wallet. When you click on all, it will show you other options like loyalty cards, vouchers, and Samsung Pass. So when you click on loyalty card, for example, it will show you here the plus sign on the top right corner. You can click on it, then add the loyalty card that you want. You have here this option. You can simply take a picture of the loyalty card or you can import from gallery and so on. After that, you can enter the loyalty card name, then click on save. And you have here also another option, which is called Samsung Pass. You can enter it using your PIN. Then you will be able to do any modifications. You can check the password safety of all your accounts, and you can change the password of any account that you have. Now, to people who don't know, you can actually use Samsung Wallet to pay your transportations. And you can do so by going to the all, then scroll down a little bit till you find this option right here, transport. And you can use a specific card for payment of the transportations. So you can click on these three dots on the top right corner, then click on set up transport card right here. And after that, you can choose between one of your cards and use it only for transportations. And that's all for today, guys. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you in a new video.